Good day guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In my last video tutorial, I talked about how to access VB Editor and the structure of VB Editor in Excel. In today's video tutorial, you will learn how to run macros in Excel using buttons, shapes, keyboard shortcut, and toolbar. Basically, you will learn how to execute macro from Excel workbook or from VB Editor in different ways. We can use buttons, we can use shapes, keyboard shortcut, or toolbar. So let's get started. So far, so far in this course, we have not learned how to write code, and we will be doing that soon enough in the subsequent videos. Okay, but in this video, I want to demonstrate how to run macros or execute macro. So for that purpose, we will record a macro and then we will see various ways how we can run it. So let's record a very simple macro. I will go to the developer tab and here I have the record macro button. And what I want to do is I want to enter my name in here in the cell a1 and then i want to enter the name of this course in the word cell a2 now this is a demo macro work already open okay but for the purpose of the demo of this video let's do this okay so here yeah, i'll first go and click on record macro okay as soon as i do this it asks for macro name let's say the let's say the name will be learn Excel. okay good and then we also give it a keyboard shortcut okay give us a wish it will control shift x okay note always remember that this keyboard shortcut override is a inbuilt keyboard shortcut so in this case here if i give it a uh, control s then instead of saving the workbook it will start running the macro so be a bit cautious when you are assigning a keyboard shortcut how saw this macro in this work in this workbook then okay now i will click on work okay button okay the macro here start get re recording okay now i will type my name in the cell a1 style okay then in the and i will type the name of this course which is what the bba course okay and then i will press enter button from my keyboard to come to what cell a3 and now i will go and stop recording the word the macro okay now let's go back to the, uh, into the code sheet and see how it look it looks okay there are a couple of ways you can do that either you can click on this icon okay right here okay which is one the virtual basic or you can press alt f11 okay let me press the virtual basic icon right here this open the vb editor here and you can see it has inserted a folder okay you can insert this folder which is is uh, which is your modules okay if i click on the folder okay if i click on the folder i will see module one and if i double double click on it if i double on it it opens a code windows where i have the code that i have recorded 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 the name of the macro word is what learn excel okay you can see let me drag it here is what learn Excel, okay good and as i mentioned in my previous video video that a sub a sub root always or always or a code will always start with a sub and end with your sub so sub means a subroutine or a procedure here we have we have letter letters in green you can see in green which is for comment 
we have Lenezel macros and we have, we have the keyboard shortcut key which is I which I use to save this macro which is what control shift F these are just for reference reference if you like you can delete it and then let's go through the code quickly it says active cell dot formula dot rsi equal to what title now again this is something something which which recording a macro does it introduce this it will introduce this this which may be required but again let's just go through the code quickly so it says active cell formula rs rs1 equal to type which means that in the active cell hmm, in the active cell it inserts it inserts the name type okay and then it goes to the word the range a to dot select to get selected in which i made the name to work to the word vba code there and then in the range a3 dot select which means that that range a3 get what selected now again let's go back to uh, to the excel workbook we can either press press on this icon at the top left corner here or you can press alt f level on the keyboard so let me use it as and uh, the excel icon button right here now let me first insert a button okay let me first insert a button that we can use to run that macro so there are two ways you can insert a button first is you go to the developer tab right up here and within the control section there is a, an insert which when you click on it okay you have the first button here if i hover if i if i hover it it says button form control and as i soon i click on click on it okay so as i click on it you can see that see this plus sign and i can click any anywhere on this worksheet and as soon as i click on the anywhere on the worksheet okay the the button get inserted so when i click here it's open the assign macro dialog box because this is specifically a button that is specifically for running a macro so you will have to assign a macro name okay and then it will get inserted here i have all the macros that i have in this workbook in this case i only have one which i which has learned i will select it okay i will select it then i will click on what okay button okay and as soon as i do this it insert a button you can resize it okay as you like you can resize it you can resize it button you can treat this as an object you can move it anywhere or place it anywhere you want and you can also change the text let's say and uh, run macro okay let's name it as what run macro okay okay so this is the button test and as soon as i click anywhere else on the worksheet or press escape to get out of the edit mode and then you can click on it to return well, the macro so now let's delete this name okay let's delete this name okay good this name in the cell a1 and a2 now firstly i will select the cell a1 back and let's see what happened when i click on the macro button okay so when i click on this macro, macro button as soon as i do this it inserts the test here in the cell a1 and a2 and also select the wall the cell a3 let me stop from here in my next video tutorial i'm going to show you how to run macros in the cell using shapes and keyboard shortcut key. thank you and have a blessed day bye